a preacher is not supposed to innovate a preacher is supposed to excavate the scriptures in a bid to get into the mind of the author to discover what the author's intent was in writing the text the preacher is not supposed to superimpose his opinion idea or his perspective to the scriptures mm -mm. he's supposed to go into the mind of the author and contextually find out what was in the mind of the author and reveal it to those listening to him that is why the word ototobio was used because it's a properness and a carefulness required by any preacher of the gospel in interpreting the text of the scripture so in this regard innovation is when thoughts are already on your mind and you look for scriptures to back them up you have a thought you have a mindset about something then you now gather scriptures to back it up mm -mm. we don't back up things it is called insidious insidious is when you superimpose your opinion on the scriptures we don't do insidious we do exegesis exegesis is when you allow the scriptures speak to you the intent of the author insidious is when you force the scriptures to say what you want which is an abuse of the scriptures which is what many people do all the time they just look for scriptures that sound alike but most times those scriptures are out of context for example you read the bible and you see scriptures like love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him you read scriptures that says friendship with the world is enmity with god a friend of the world is an enemy of god then you read the same bible which says for god so loved the world <laughs> for god so loved the world he said don't love the world but he himself is loving the world that he gave his only begotten son he says make no friendship with the world then he now says go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature now you see love 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 but they are not the same world world they are not the same in the scriptures there's no omnibus application to words of scriptures what it means is the same word can mean different things in different contexts so that is why the bible is a contextual material therefore it requires a depth of intelligence and you need to contextually study the bible so what does he mean by saying love not the world then he now says for god so love the world the word world has two different greek words world is aeon and there is world as cosmos so when he says love not the world what you are simply saying is love not the aeon the aeon is the world's way of thinking that contradicts god the cosmos is the cosmopolitan where human beings are so you love not their way of thinking but god loves the cosmopolitan where human beings are it will take interpretation of the text to be able to understand exactly what it implies otherwise if the text is not interpreted in your mind you will see a contradiction because in the unschooled mind it's like god is saying you don't love the world but let me love the world so that's a contradiction to his character but there is no contradiction contradiction of scriptural text only exists in the mind of the one reading who has no understanding of the intent or who has no understanding of the interpretation of that text in the scriptures